Okay, YouTube. I've got the uh, MS660 with the new uh, Matora uh, top on it. And I got the handle installed. Uh, and I have it set up for... Got the, the, uh, the ceiling plate, the piece of rubber. Got the steel plate. Got that sealed off there. Got the decomp sealed. Got the spark plug in. And I have not cheated. I do not know. Oh, and I have um, the flange. I have the um, you can see in there I've got the ring um, you know that goes around the boot I've got that in place um, I've got the circle in the inside the manifold and, and I'll place that on there so Keep your fingers crossed. Crap. All right, let's see where it's leaking. Well, I got a leak there. Got a leak there. Okay, what it did was this, uh, we all know that um, spark plugs are, sometimes, you know, you need to, put the plug in a time or two to get the threads running right and uh, that's what I did there um, so I stopped the camera and I took that out and I put it in took it out put it in took it out so um, then put a little anti-seize on it and put it back in and uh, I did the same thing up here so now let's see what happens. That I expect, and you know, that's not worrisome. What, you know, the big thing is, is, you know, the base. Uh, I almost always put uh, Durco on it, uh, but I felt so confident in the, uh, the cylinder that I only used Durco on the case, you know, because the case is split. You know, when we put the case together, there's, I mean, it's a beautiful case, very well executed. Um, so um, I did use Jerko on the bottom. Um, so in any case, let's see what happens. I mean, you know, we're building them and this is the most, besides having enough oil in it and enough fuel, um, going to it isn't that pretty well that passes now um, even though I did not do anything to the lower half, um, it's probably a good idea to check the seals. 
So I'll put it on. Vacuum. And now let's rock the boat. And those Farmer Tech seals are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. So, a successful, delightful insurance policy was just executed on the Farmer Tech MS660. I almost always cut the camera off before I do uh, why it's uh, I mean it's a part um, it's probably in you know a good idea to check the uh, you know the, the fuel circuit I've got it on vacuum. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. You see that down there? I mean, I drained the tank well, but that was... That was in the filter and between the filter and you don't want that to get down into your, you know, your diaphragms on your. Perfect. So I should have no trouble. Okay, YouTubers. Uh, I must admit to you that my brain wasn't known and I forgot one of the most important uh, tests uh, to do on a professional saw like this and that's check the impulse you know I had it all um, you do have to either remove this screw or flip your um, your flange uh, so that your screw is not um, stopping up the impulse and then put your nipple um, on your, you know, hose, and this is, um, this is what you do. Now watch, it's not much. And you turn, see my hands down there on the, um, flywheel? It's late, I'm tired. Um, It bounces a little bit, and that's all you're looking for. I mean, if, if this is a, a bad, um, you actually need like a a really 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 simple vacuum dial. You know, this is much more. It's harder for the um, pressure to uh, to bump the dial because we're talking about just you know just little bursts. Um, that drive the diaphragm so uh, that's all it takes it's just a very little bump 